travel is a state of mind, Oregon sure makes you wonder, how can one place be home to such wonderful scenery, fascinating people, and exciting outdoor recreation? Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, something different. We take a production pause and offer you some of our memorable moments, a look back that both photographer Jeff Kastner and I agree are some of our finest moments. So join us for the best of Grant's Getaways. Our 2010 Grant's Getaway schedule started with an adventurous winter blast on the Clackamas River. Nice rapid, that was fun. Yeah. We keep an eye on the weather. We keep an eye on the water levels. It takes a lot of time to keep track of all those things, but it's essential. When you get on the river, your stress just goes away. And you get to be a kid, and we all need to be kids. We don't want to grow old, we want to grow happy. Watery adventures show off Oregon from a different point of view. None were more spectacular than the ride of a lifetime last July through the Rogue River Canyon. Skipper Jeff Laird at the helm. It's just years of experience. <laughs> it is an awesome collection of wilderness, from forest hilltops that touch the sky to remote steep canyon walls that touch hard charging whitewater rapids. It's easy to see why Jeff Laird likes to come to work each day. And a lot of people can't say when they go to a job they actually give people a smile. So that means something to me. And I like my job. And I love mine, especially when it puts me in touch with Oregon's wildlife, like last April at daybreak on Foster Flats Road in Malheur County. It is a stunning strutting show, as more than two dozen sage grouse meet on a communal breeding ground called a lek. So if you're a younger male, you have to go into the center and challenge that older male. You get to come up on the edge of the refuge, see this, and then travel through the wetlands. It's a nice, diverse nature experience. There was something magical about my final top getaway. Was it the time, the place, or the fact that something so special could be educational and inspirational and bring the Oregon outdoors indoors at the Portland Art Museum? Inspiration's easy to come by when you stand before the latest masterpiece to grace the gallery's walls, a monumental work called Shoshone Falls of the Snake River. It is awesome in size and scale. The significance of these panoramic paintings, 10 feet, 12 feet, 13 feet, such as this one, this became the theatrical spectacle of the day and age, absolutely being speechless about what the landscape provides them, much bigger and grander than they'd ever seen before. The Oregon Outdoors continues to invite us down back roads and byways and places less traveled. 2011 promises even more. So join us for KGW News Channel 8. I'm Grant McComey. We've provided all the details, directions, and the contact information for all the segments in this week's show right here on the Travel Oregon website. So as I like to say, until next week, get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and make your own outdoor adventures. Until next week, for Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCombie.